We're here. Oh, God. You know what? Christmas morning. Folks, it's Christmas morning. It's the crack of dawn. It's the crack of dawn? This is the first thing we've recorded? This is the first game we have recorded on Christmas morning. It is the winner of Sonic. Uh-oh. Who's oh, this? Who could this be? Look at him go. Ah, Christ. If there wasn't, if there wasn't more, how is it? It's a smooth whiskey. Okay. If there wasn't, if there was less stuff in this room, I'd ask you to come sit on my lap. But yeah, there's, it's this is a room heavy with cords. There's a lot of cords in here. I oh. love the flicky birds. They're cute. And that, by the way, um, that's why I was trying to look up more orbs earlier because <laughs> Jennifer texted me more cords the other day, and I thought uh, of Daxter. More cords. <laughs> this is a fascinating game. Oh, wow. This is another game that, like, Sega at least partially outsourced the uh, Traveler's Tales, the English studio, which, as opposed to making in-house. Hopefully, maybe, you'll get to see our playthrough of Sonic R. We recorded it in a new way. But and, later on Christmas morning. Yeah, we recorded it in a new way, and we didn't turn the sound down for the game, and we can't do it afterwards. I think it'll be fine. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it might be really hard to hear us over the lady screaming about living in the city. But, but if it doesn't go up, we beat Sonic R in one, basically once. We time. did! Yeah. And we can do it again for you. Yeah, we can. It would be easy. It, We'd have to probably have Chance or something. So that would actually be very fun. You know what? We'll do that. Okay. <laughs> um, I love the little overworld map here. We just did it again tonight. <laughs> Got really, 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 really determined. That happens when I drink, you know. Yeah. And it happens to me too. Um, the gamers who cannot be beat. Yeah. You can't keep a good gamer down. Hell no. So, Sonic. Th love it. Let me. Okay, so first off, love the tiles here. I would love to have tiles like this in my bathroom and every other room. There's so house. much to talk about. Yeah. Look um, at this, guys. Look at that bridge. You guys remember when we played Sonic 3D Blast for uh, the last time? A sharp, eagle eyed viewer might remember that time. And you know what? It wasn't. There's a difference here. The what bridge, is this? Yeah, the bridge didn't do that. The bridge didn't do this? That's Genesis. because folks were playing on the Sega Saturn. That's right. So, this is the Saturn version of Sonic 3D Blast with a new soundtrack by Richard Jacques, which largely, I think, is inferior to the Jun Signore one Agreed. on the Genesis. But it has some good banging tunes. Rusty yes. Ruins, specifically. Act 1 and 2 are, are fantastic in this game, even though they're a ripoff of that Enigma song. Is that real? Yeah, they're. it's basically that, you know, Enigma song... I don't know what a Sadness is. Part 2. They're a 90s Euro pop band. I'll show it to you later. Okay. We'll compare them. It's, they're both good. It's just obvious that that was what inspired it. Okay. Um, so they made Sonic 3D Blast for the Saturn, and in development for... Or, I'm sorry, they made it for the Genesis, and they were developing Sonic Extreme for the Saturn for quite some time as the first big 3D Sonic game. That shit's got canceled, and Sega hastily put out a graphically upgraded version of 3D Blast on the Saturn, out against Mario 64. Which is insane. Yeah, it's just a hopeless gesture. It was for Christmas of that year, of like 95 or something like that. Um, hopeless. This game... This game is not as good as Mario 64, or even close. It can't even hope to be. But I play it a lot more than I play Mario 64. Now that's also true! <laughs> yeah. So what's that say about us? That we're very cool and we like our friend Sonic. Exactly. They, oh, also, they put these new special stages in, inspired by the uh, Sonic 2 special stages. You get your full 3DS Sonic here, running through what looks like an African savanna background, maybe? I really like the song that plays in this. I like this song, too. I think this is the most Sonic-y song in the game. Oh, yeah, it's way more, like, bumpy, funky, casino-y than, like, anything else. Yeah. Everything else in this is, I think, either kind of uninspired or, like, a very strange pop song. Yeah. Nothing against Richard Jock. He's a wonderful composer. Yes, I agree. Cool. I love cool. Sonic. I do, too. I've had a sip of the drink. <laughs> yeah, you've had... <laughs> but I love him. Yeah, he's know? a good guy. I'll say it. He's a good guy. It's Christmas morning. Ugh. No, I think, um... I've spent way more time with the Genesis version of this game than I had the Saturn version. Although the, the Saturn version, they also ported the PC. That's what I had growing up. But I didn't play it much because I didn't like it. Especially yeah. compared to... Sonic CD, Sonic R, and Sonic and Knuckles Collection. Yeah, that's that's one really hard thing about playing Sonic games is kind of like not comparing them because like of course, like you should on one level compare the Sonic games, right? Yes, absolutely. Because they're all from the same series. Exactly. 
But on the other hand, I love the way the Chaos Emeralds look in this game. Yeah, boy, it's a very strange texture. Yeah. It? But like on the other hand, I, I don't know. You can't compare these games because they're it's this is totally different from like Sonic Three, or even things like Sonic R. You there's know? no there's none of the logical progression and deep deep level of like attention and care that you saw applied by Nintendo to the Mario series. Right. They'll continue to see applied. I mean, like, Nintendo really thought everything through when it came to mainstream Mario games and made sure that everything lined up with, like, kind of their the core identity of it. Mm. And, you know, they managed to make their first 3D Mario game uh, feel like a Mario game. Yeah. Whereas, I think Sega, for one, obviously they made some bad hardware decisions, but two, like, they were kind of just outsourcing stuff, it seemed like. Yeah. They put a lot of their chips in the Sonic Extreme basket, mm -hmm. and it didn't pan out. Um, sorry to interrupt the story. One thing you will not see us do is um, we will not go to Tails in, in this level, um, because you can only get one Chaos Emerald per act. So In the Saturn version. In the Saturn version. The Genesis version, not true. Yeah, the Genesis version, you, you can, can just find, yeah. steamroll. You, you can have every Chaos Emerald very quickly. Yeah. But in this one, they make you... Pace that a little bit. It's frustrating. Uh, also, one thing I'm going to show real quick because I'll probably not show it again. Um, they, they have a fun map screen. They do, yeah. He's like Sonic's got this scroll. Yeah. Anyways, I wonder how this uh, shield looks. I guess you can see it in the capture. Yeah, it seems fine. That's okay. Yeah. The shield flickers super fast in game, so when you're capturing at a different frame rate, it sometimes, in the past, just hasn't shown up. Yeah. But, like, I think, okay, I think, like, Green Grove, I think this song is fine. Yeah. I have a strong connection to it from my youth. Mm -hmm. um, I think it pales in comparison to the Genesis Green Grove song. I agree. Now, one thing I will say about the art ups, like, the art upgrade in this game, again, these tiles, holy shit, these tiles. Yeah. These, like, rusty colored, naturally occurring tiles, I want them... Oh, my God, I want just, like, a whole room... <laughs> Where that's the floor, and everything's very earthy and kind of dark. This is basically how me and Jake play, like, Minecraft. Yeah, you know? we're basically just, like, trying to... Oh, we When we were really working hard on our Minecraft world, we had tile floors everywhere. Yeah. Like, checkered, like Sonic. Um, it's been a long time since we played Minecraft, just because, you know, they're not, the Minecraft man's racist. Not really, that's not why we stopped playing. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, the Minecraft man is The Minecraft man racist. is racist and stupid. But, but that is but not that's what we That's neither here nor there. We stopped playing due to the loss, chiefly, oh. of... I Fort forgot. Thunderhaven, yeah. which was our, our primary base of operations. Now, I believe there was a Fort Thunderhaven too, but yeah. Fort Thunderhaven was so full full realized. I mean, there was there was old Danksburg and new Danksburg, and of course Danksworth's quarters. Was that that might have been Fort Thunderhaven too? Actually, that might have been Fort Thunderhaven because too. the original Fort Thunderhaven was um, we didn't I didn't build it in creative mode. That's right. If you yeah, recall. we uh, well we. The first Fort Thunderhaven, that's right, we were really focused on making that huge sign that said Fort Thunderhaven. <laughs> that's main, That's ma mostly what Fort Thunderhaven was, was the big sign. Yeah. Did and, we finish the sign? Oh, God. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like we finished the sign. Probably not. That I, was really skillful. I'm though, very right? scared now that I don't have the shield. This uh, this is a sometimes a very frustrating game. Yep, oops. Don't give that boy yeah. any of our real money. You can... Uh, if you... Touch tails there. You can still go to a special stage, but you just get a one up, and we don't want it. So we don't need it. Not with all these rings we've got. No. Okay, I've already taken the shield from there. I think there's a shield over here. But yeah, I mean that's right. Fort Thunder Haven two, which we also lost, was yes. really our crowding achievement because yeah. there was so much going on. We had a portal to the Nether. We had an unbelievable rocket-powered minecart escape system. Yeah, that was cool. Um, and it was set in a perpetually snowy forest. It was mostly underground, but the entrance was in a perpetually snowy forest. Um, and, of course, we had our, our own rooms. And uh, there was Danksworth, who was our butler. One fun thing about all of um, me and Jake's like fantasy zones is that we always live together. Yeah, we which... we're never. I, I'm not really sure what that says about us, but it just says I think that we're very good friends. And yeah, we like to spend a lot of time together. I mean, which is true. like Alex is. I mean, I was at one point. You know, I guess technically still I am married, but you know, I'm becoming divorced, and you are of course in a long term relationship. Yes. Um. So. Really, we've never had the chance to live together mm -hmm. the way we'd like to in our fantasy worlds. Yeah. 
Thank you. Which is why we have to build these complex fantasy worlds. Sorry, if you yeah. want to get a little closer. No, 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 you're um, fine. Um, can you do me a favor and pour me another yes. finger of that? Dinger? Yeah. Tell them what we're sipping on this evening, this morning, uh, this Christmas morning. We are drinking... Ugh. We're drinking Dr. James Crow's Old Crow, the original Sour Mash Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It's even signed by the man himself. Yeah. There's ten dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Just kidding. It's very bad. It's no. It's yeah, it's actually really. It's really bad. It's detestable, even. Yeah, it's not good. I'm gonna just bring your glass to me. It's a bit of a weird zone. I uh, do like this take on the particular piece of music better i also like there's a lot of cool little details here i mean they're it's all spritey stuff thank you uh -huh. like that monkey going up and down on the tree yeah now obviously the monkey you okay yeah it's very bad isn't yeah. it the monkey should God damn it. fuck shit the monkey should be a robot it should be a kiki from sonic adventure it or should one of the ones from sonic 3 3 yeah one of those horrible um ball on yeah i don't apes. like those guys <laughs> Or I guess it could be one of the guys from Sonic 2. That's also true. That's also 2. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic 3D Blast looks better on this TV than Sonic R. Yeah. I will say that right yeah. now. Yeah. I think this looks completely... There's like that mole guy poking his head out down there. Yeah. Those guys are cute. I like yeah. them. This, it's just so funny to me that they made Sonic 1, CD, 2, 3, and Knuckles. Uh -huh. They made basically f like... Four huge powerhouse Sonic games. Almost five, if you want to look at it that way. Yeah. Um, that really, like, just expanded on and refined a pretty simple formula. And then they made this, and I don't understand at all what the thinking was on making an isometric Sonic game like this where you only have an eight-way directional pad. Everything's yeah. fucking slippery. Yeah. It's slow. I, I will say... Losing your rings is agonizing in this game. Especially in the Genesis one. Oh my when god. You're, you know, trying to get both of those boys in one level. Yeah, this actually... Now, luckily the rings come back yeah. in between Chaos Emeralds, but... Still. It does take some of the pressure off, honestly, to not be able to get more than one Chaos Emerald yeah. per level. It's going to put more pressure on later when we're trying to do it in a and harder, harder zone. Levels, right? Yeah. But uh, this yeah. is actually the only version of Sonic 3D Blast I've beaten... I've got to the final boss of the Genesis version, but I never actually beat it. I think I've beaten the Genesis version. But that was some time ago. Yeah. I was a younger man then. Weighed less. Maybe more. I can't say. Oh, well, that's a good noise. That's a great wow. noise. That's like one of the one of the all-time best Sonic noises. Yeah. There's just no way around it. And have I talked about these tiles? <laughs> yes. I love um, these tiles. Oh, buddy, I know you do. Uh -oh. These feminine twiles. That's good. I like that. A uh, little robot mole man building this world. Yeah, like, these guys are like... I'm gonna leave that for now. These guys are putting this zone together. Yes. You know, there's a... Actually, kind of like... That is kind of interesting. Like, that's that's an anthropomorphic... That's like Sonic. That's like a guy, you yeah. know? He's, like, working on shit. He seems strangely unconcerned with what's happening. But... Yeah. I feel like the jump sounds weird in this game. You think so? Listen to the latter half of it. You don't hear like a higher frequency or something? Maybe or... a little high. I don't know. I'm not... It's like, I think it's like the pitch is the same, but I think there's something in the latter half of it that sounds odd to me. Hmm. Who's to say? Anyway, something oh, you should... Can you uh, break that? Oh yeah, I bet you, I bet you can. Something uh, y'all should check out if you have nice. time and an emulator. The... Lead programmer on the Genesis version of this game. I believe it was a lead programmer. Well, I'll, we'll have to look up the rest of that information, and I would gladly include it in the description. Has uh, released a version of this of the Genesis version of this game called the Director's Cut, where uh -huh. he fixed several issues with it, and I believe added Super Sonic. Yes. Um, and I haven't had the chance to play it yet, but I'd love to because I really do like this game for all its faults. Um, I really do enjoy this game. Yeah, me too. Where's my last man? I don't know. We might even, if we're feeling raunchy, yeah. we might play that one on the show. I would so. love to. Because I'd love to be able to really say, like, oh, this is... Definitively better or worse. Yes, absolutely. 
I don't know. I'm. I know he changed how it controls, which worries me. Not yeah. because this game controls good, because Jesus Christ, of course it doesn't. But man, but I'm, I'm also used very to it. used to it. Yeah. Have you ever wondered what's the deal with that? Is that just like a cave? Just, that's where you come from. Maybe so. Because you know, you're just standing here, so yeah. maybe that's what he came out of. Yeah. I was always like that—a tomb or a tunnel. One thing I prefer over the Saturn or um, in the Saturn version as opposed to the Genesis version is. I guess this isn't really part of the game, but I prefer the Saturn controller to the Genesis controller. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that's a popular opinion. I don't, but I don't like the Genesis controller. It's too big. Even the six button one? Uh, I haven't used that one enough. Oh, there's Knuckles. You should fuck with him. Um, I fucks with Knux. I haven't really used the six button one enough, but the three button one, I just think is too big. That makes sense. And it feels weird in my hands. The bat winging. The, the buttons yeah. are too big. Everything's just so big about it. And then the Saturn controller is just a lot smaller. I really like the three button yeah. one, but that's only nostalgia. That's right. like, like people that really like the N64 controller. That's right. got to be born out of nostalgia. I would rather use the N64 controller than the Genesis one. But that is a bold statement, sorry, my friend. Uh, sorry, I just. I mean, I guess I am nostalgic for that one, and I am certainly not nostalgic for the Genesis controller. I mean, the N64 controller is easily one of the worst, like, mainstream video game console controllers I've ever had the displeasure of using for a long period of time. I don't know. I... It's Something about it. It's really like it. thin plastic. The stick feels terrible. The buttons are okay. The triggers are okay. <laughs> do you think I'm going to do this? Maybe. You probably can. Jump! Oh, oh shit. You can still get enough, just don't run into anything. Uh, okay. Oh, this is gonna be close. Okay. Uh oh. Are you fu You got it. Just enough. Oh wait, no. <laughs> they had your back. Oh, uh, thanks guys. Cool. God. Hey, Sonic. I really I I really think I know that they're going to probably make a Sonic Mania 2 of some sort, because it would be stupid not to, given how well it was reviewed and how well it sold. Yeah. But what I... In my dream world... My dream world, honestly, is just Sonic Adventure 3, but something that really <clears throat> appeals to me... Universe. Yeah. Something that really appeals to me is Sega... Oh, crap. You that weren't supposed to jump that one. Uh, yeah, you gotta learn. This game tricks you. It, it, it does. Sega doing... A lost 3D Sonic game that's like this kind of like you know a slightly better looking version of this art style uh -huh. like Jagsville that uh... what does like Jagsville mean very jaggy oh jaggy okay yeah. I thought maybe you meant like the Atari Jaguar and I was no. like I'm pretty sure this is better I love that one it's not really it's this probably weird, bad to, like I do too this weird like 90s like periwinkle yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's like... probably not good to like make up your own uh, like dialect on a spot, but um, I would love to see them make a full a full fucking three D Sonic game, but like like they would have made it like make their own like new Sonic Extreme. Uh -huh. But unlike Sonic Extreme, here's the thing about Sonic Extreme: it looked like it was going to be pretty bad. I agree. There's no way around it. Um, people are free to disagree, but look up any footage of Sonic Extreme ever, or play any of the like things that Chris Sin leaked <clears throat> after the fact. Uh -huh. It doesn't look like it was going to be very fun. No. But if they made like a Sonic Adventure feeling ass game, that they could make a budget title, right? You know, like Sonic Mania, but have it be that that era of Sega -y stuff. Uh -huh. I think that would be rad. Good. <laughs> That's actually what I wanted to happen. I'm sorry, buddy. My bowels just curdled.